Welcome to the channel. My name is Lauren, and it's been a long time since I had a chat with you guys. First of all, I want to start, I want to thank you, Charles. Uh, I know you've been there for a long time, but it, it was a really pleasant surprise um, last week. So I just wanted to thank you. And Rob, of course, um, you know, what you did actually may seem like a small thing, but it came at a, a really timely moment. And it helped a lot with that end of the month deal. So I want to thank you for that. And of course, I want to thank everybody who supports the channel. It It's made the difference and it's what kept me going for the last couple of years. Now, what's been going on? Well, I've been busy with visitors, you know, and that's, that's a good thing. It's uh, kept me quite busy. I've been uh, meeting people. I've been at the Armenia airport. I've been to Pereira to the airport. And uh, since uh, the new year, I've been meeting up with about one every week. It's not every week, but there'll be a couple, and then there'll be one and nobody and like that. So, But it works out to about one person a week. Now, as for the car situation, I'm working on the license still. I'm about a third of the way through, you know, so I hope that comes to fruition pretty quick. And uh, the car itself, I still have that alarm issue I've got to get taken care of. But I'm going to wait until I've got license in hand. And then I'll drive it over to the dealer, get it taken care of, and everything should be 100%. Every possible thing I could think of, I've already had taken care of on that car. You know, it's got new tires and brakes. And uh, I even replaced the new timing belt with another because when there was no receipt and I was just being told that, it's such a critical item. I decided, you know what? It's not going to cost that much money. Let me just go ahead and change it. Now, it turned out that the belt that was in there was was fine. But we put the new one in, put the new idler pulley, and it's good for a couple more years. Now, I've been out and around quite a bit lately. And I don't know. It's a little crazy. I mean, it's it's sad, really, about, well, first of all, Large businesses, international businesses, national businesses, they are thriving. However, local businesses, the little tiendas and local shops, or maybe small chains like here in Potato or something, they've been closing their doors and and or struggling to survive. And it's it's disorienting because all of these places that I knew, you know, from walking everywhere all the time and you go there now and it's like closed doors or there'll be a new type of business there it's it's disorienting because it feels like i'm not even living in armenia right now you know it, it, curfew was at 10 and then it's at 12 o'clock well i'm not a late person it doesn't affect me directly but it affects everybody i know here everybody that lives here uh, for example when did you ever know Colombians not to be out dancing, salsa dancing. Well, now there's no dancing. There's no dance clubs allowed to be open. It's it's crazy. This whole thing has just had a devastating effect. And I would say a scarring effect. I wonder how things will ever return to the way they were. You have situations where it seems like buildings are, are just taking advantage, and not just buildings, but my pet peeve, my building, my last building, building a friend of mine lives in. Th they have all their amenities. There's swimming pools, gymnasiums, uh, social areas. Those are all closed down for COVID. I would use air quotes, but you know, it's a bit overdone. So these things, they're closed down. But then you go to a place like um, Mokawa. There's a couple here now that are staying in Mokawa. And, you know, they're checking, what time does the pool open? What time does it close? Well, the pool's open from 9 to 7. Gymnasium, you know, it's open these hours. And everything's open. So I guess COVID is only a problem, like in my building, but on Mokawa, it's not a problem you know it's just there's no rhyme or reason to any of this stuff and i swear you these building administration places 
they're not trying to entice anyone because everybody here, you know, is owner. And so look at the money they can save by not having to maintain service, the swimming pool and the saunas and the jacuzzis and the Turkish baths and the, basically they just rope it off and don't worry about it. Where before they had to daily service those things. Look how much money goes to the bottom line. Now on the upside, I know, downbeat Debbie, but on the upside, uh, the weather has been pretty, pretty awesome. We're out of the rainy season, which I don't mind anyway. I actually kind of like it, but we're out of the rainy season and we're into, I guess what you call spring or summer, it, it, although it doesn't, seasons don't apply. It's either rainy season or not, but um, the weather's just been gorgeous. And of course, I've got that constant breeze. I'm feeling it now. I'm in the 70s. Now in the afternoon, uh, so people don't misunderstand, I, I will clarify again. In the afternoon, if you're out walking around in an area where you're getting hit with direct sun, that sun will burn the skin off your arms. I mean, you're still near the equator and those out ultraviolet rays can be treacherous. So it's not even a matter of the ambient temperature because while the ambient temperature might be comfortable, the sun's rays can be brutal. And you're not gonna you're not gonna get away from that. But I've already done my things by the time that hits, so it doesn't really affect me, or I'll say rarely. And then also the places that I tend to go and walk, there's enough shade, so when that time of day comes, it's still not a problem. Like if you're walking up a Bolivar, between the buildings and the trees, and there's there's shade. You you might move three feet to the left to get the shade, but I mean, it's fine. As far as the temperature goes on the hottest days, it might get up to about 84 degrees. Uh, but it's typically been around the high 70s, um, you know, through most of the day. I am planning some regional travel. The um, Barranquilla is is off the table for now. It's It's more than I can swing and just kind of... The plans fell through on that, but there's some local places, um, and one in particular, I've mentioned this probably going back about three years from time to time. It's this town called Salamina. It's uh, north of, north, I would say northwest of Manizales, and I am dying to go there. It's an historical town, which I don't want to mention now. Uh, but I'm dying to go there. It shouldn't take too long to get there. I would like to go in March. Maybe the car will be ready. That's the car is for clients and the car is for travel outside of the area. I can't imagine me ever using the car here in Armenia. There's just no need for it. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm making the plans for that. Um, you know, hope it comes through. If not that, it it will be something. Um, it, you know, I, I enjoy getting out and around. I love being home though. I have to tell you this apartment, I, I thrive here. I, it's got such good vibes. I really enjoy being in this apartment. I mean, if they, God forbid, if they quarantined again, which I don't think they ever will again, but, um, th what a great place to have to do that. Uh, it'd be nice if I had the gym, but yeah, there you go. You you know, you take what you can get. That's it. I just wanted to run down some of those things, something a little bit more than coffee time, and uh, just kind of give you a heads up. I used to do this kind of video pretty often, and lately it's, you know, between the computer issues and, uh, you know, just being busy in life, I haven't taken the time. I'll try to do this maybe more often. Maybe I'll try to do this once a week. I'd like to know what you think about this and everything else. So please send your comments. I read every one of them. Sometimes I get a little behind, but I do get to them and I do read every one of them. Uh, keep it clean, keep it honest, and I'll see you in the next Coffee Time.